Hey everyone. Happy Thursday. I hope you're all having a wonderful Thursday. I am um, going to be touching on some training for month end. I thought it was fitting since it is month end. Um, I wanted to help you get those last minute ranks, get those last minute numbers, whatever it is you're seeking for the month end. Um, I have some training I wanted to go over and help you with. So if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and I will answer those. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so I do have some notes because I have a little bit of squirrel brain. So I do have notes to keep here uh, to keep on track. So um, month, in, month end is a great time to close those deals, hit any last minute ranks. Um, the key is to be strategic in the way that you approach month end and not come off as desperate. I'm sure we've all, if you have any friends in network marketing or uh, in other businesses on your friends list, I'm sure you've received one of those desperate pleas of, um, help in their messages. I know I have, I always get the, hey, I'm going for a last minute rank. Can you order? Um, hey, I've only got 25 something to sell. Can you order? And we've never talked before. Um, or it's like, hey, can I send you my link? I'm looking for last minute orders or something like that crazy. So it's happened. Um, it's the key to it is doing it strategically with the right skills and the right, uh, right approach rather than being coming off spammy or salesy and looking desperate like you need the sale so i want to help you get that under your belt so that you have the skill to look strategic and look professional without um you know being spammy so the first step is you want to uh go into your back office and you want to log into your back office and you want to look at your unilevel tree, uh, specifically your unilevel tree, not your binary tree um, with the little blocks, your unilevel and roller tree. This is going to show you your personal recruits. Uh, you want to go through the list and make a list of affiliates who are close to hitting rank. Um, it can be a thousand, it can be 500, it can be a hundred, it can be one order. Uh, you want to look at their personal rank, their personal volume, and you want to look at their team volume. And you want to see what they're close to hitting, what they're, what's the next rank, what do they need to get to the next rank. You want to write that information down. Then you want to reach out to them and let them know how close they are to hitting that goal. If I look at my back office and I see somebody that has um, like, 80 volume, I'm going to reach out and say, hey, you're almost a director. Right now you're getting builder commissions. If you purchase a spray, you're going to be a director. You're going to get more, you're going to, going to get more um, jumpstart bonus and you're also going to get a higher binary pay. So you want to reach out because some people just don't know. Some people haven't been in tune, haven't been plugged into the right place. So the first step is look at your unilevel tree, check out the personal volume and the group volume for every one of your personally enrolled affiliates. Then reach out to them and let them know how close they are to the next rank, the next pay jump. Um, and let them know that you're available to help them close any last minute deals. Um, you know, some people don't like three-way calls, but I have built my business on this three-way call. It takes a few minutes of your day uh, to jump on a call and help somebody close a deal or jump in a three-way chat and close a deal. Um, being a leader is you have more expertise you have more um, experience in the industry and that helps somebody who's new so if you have somebody who needs you to do that let them know you're available so that's step one step two is look back over your month at the post your polls all your comments all your messages from people who have expressed interest in the products write their name down um, I only recommend going back a month because it's month in it's still probably fresh on these people's mind so what I like to do is I go back over the month of my over the month span on my social media and I look at anybody who's expressed interest in the products who has tried a sample who has commented who has sent me a message who has answered a poll um, or commented on my post and I'm writing their names down 
And then once you make that list, this is your list one, um, or uh, you want to follow up with the three A's. I'm about to hit over the three A's in a moment. But step two is create a list of anybody who's expressed interest in your products or try to sample in the last month. Step two is, or step three is to look at your, look back again at your post, your polls, your comments, and your messages, and create a list of anyone who has expressed interest in the opportunity. So your first list is going to be customers, potential customers. Your second list is going to be prospects, potential team members. Both of these people, you're gonna follow up with the three A's. And what those A's are is number one, ask ask for their time you want to reach out and ask for time to talk with them the second a is affirmative speak in the affirmative action give direction um, when people are given the steps that they need to sign up given the steps they need to choose the right products they are more likely to buy so you want to ask and then you want to speak in the affirmative the third is assume. Assume the sell sign up. Speak as if you already have the sale. So the three A's that you want to use while following up with your list one and list two are ask, affirmative, and assume. Okay, so the, the first one is a somewhat of a script that you can use. So when you're following up with those lists of prospects that you or those lists of people who have expressed interest in your products over the last month or have tried to sample over the last month, you want to use some of these these words to uh, kind of spark their interest. I always like to say, hey, you um, you know, hey Stacy, you have expressed interest. Uh, you had mentioned interest in my CBD products. I'm just following up to close out my month. Do you have a few minutes? I could give you a quick consultation and get you set up on the right products. You'll love them. This way, I'm asking for their time. I'm speaking in the affirmative, and I'm assuming the sale. I know they're. I'm telling them you're going to love these products because I'm already assuming that they're going to buy. This way, I'm asking for their time to give them a quick consultation. Find out what their symptoms are, what their pain, pain points are, why they want these products. And then you can give them directions. Hey, I list, you know, you gave me all the things that are wrong with you. Um, I really recommend that you try the oil. Or if they're having some skin issues, hey, Thanks for taking the time. I really recommend one of our relief or renew or our, our renew or revive creams for your skin issues. Whatever the case may be, you want to find their pain points and then sell them the solution. Find out what it is that they that piqued their interest and why they were interested in the products and then offer them the solution through our products. The second list, uh, the second script is for your prospects, those people who have expressed interest in the opportunity over the last month. Um, so this is something I also do. Or, hey, I'll use Stacy again. Hey, Stacy, earlier you mentioned you were interested in my company. The next few months in our company are going to be huge. The reason for, or here is why, it's the perfect time. We are getting ready to launch some new incredible CBD products that are not on the market, as well as announcing our next billion dollar brand and global expansion. It's the perfect time to secure your position now before this stuff happens. This is the perfect time to do that. I don't care if they follow, if they, express interest three months ago, four months ago, a year ago. Now is the time to follow up with these people and get them plugged in now because they want to secure their position before those products launch, before we announce that next brand, before we do our global expansion. Because if they lock in their place right now, they're already going to be in the tree and they're gonna secure all those people who sign up under them. All right, the next place is you want to leverage three-way calls. Again, I cannot express to you how many three-way calls I've done and closed the deal. It's important that you leverage three-way calls. If you get into a situation where they're asking a lot of questions, you're not sure how to answer them, hop on a three-way chat. Contact your upline and say, hey, 
I have somebody who is very interested. I've already chatted with them. They have some questions that I'm not comfortable answering. I'm not sure the answer to. Would you be willing to jump on a three-way call? Would you be willing to jump in a three-way messenger chat and help me answer these questions? What this does is it allows you to see how your upline would handle it, how somebody with more experience and more knowledge would handle it. So that way, next time, you don't have to utilize a three-way call. Um, it also gives a little um, extra bonus to the person who's interested. Um, a lot of times when people are coming in as a prospect and they're interested in this industry and they're interested in this company, they want to talk to somebody who's been doing it for a while, somebody who has the reins, somebody who can really edify the company and let them know that it is solid and stable. Um, so reach out to those uplines, ask for a three-way chat or a three-way call. A lot of times they're going to be willing to do it because it's not only helping you, it's helping them. If your upline won't do it, we have three for a reason. I love to say that, three for a reason. If your first upline isn't working the business, doesn't have any interest, go to the next person. There's three for a reason. If you can't get hold of all three of them, listen, I do this full time all the time. Um, so if you can't get a hold of those three people, message me, say, hey, I've already contacted my three uplines. Nobody responded. I, they're not interested. Can you help me in this three-way chat or this three-way call? And chances are I can make time for it. So it's really important to close this way with these strategic methods in the month end because it's going to um, get those people get those people um, closed on the deal. It's going to help you reach your end of month goals. It's going to help you reach those last minute ranks. And um, when you contact your team, it's going to help them also reach those last minute ranks and those last minute numbers. Even if it's not a rank, even if it's a goal, um, if somebody doesn't quite have a goal of 5k yet, say they're three or 4,000 away from 5K, but they're only 100 away from 1,000. That's a goal. Reach out to the person and say, hey, you're only one director's pack away from 1,000 volume. You're only um, one or two bottles away from uh, hitting that $1,000 goal. Um, reach out to those people who are very close to hitting that last minute rank or goal for them and help them out. Again, if you need some three-way calls or you need a three-way chat, ask. Just ask. There's over 5,500 people on this team. There's no humanly possible way I could reach out to everyone and ask them if they need help. So you have to take the initiative and that action and ask for it. So these are my end-of-month goal. These are my end-of-month uh Skills. These are my end of month training. I'm going to post a document in just a second with these scripts written out and the steps that you need to take to close that month in. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll come back in a little bit and answer those for you. And again, if you need extra help, ask. Reach out and ask. That is my job is to help. So I hope this helps you out today and I will see y'all soon. And don't forget, any director's pack from the 27th through Saturday at midnight, get it emailed to me and you will be entered into when that cash drawing. I will see y'all later. Bye everyone.